What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for a video all about how to find your life scripture. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anna and I would love to have you subscribe for new videos every week about living your life for Jesus and about studying God's word and developing spiritual maturity and all that kind of good stuff, that Christian girl life stuff. But let's go ahead and get into this topic about how to find your life scripture. So what is a life scripture? A life scripture is a scripture that the Lord shows you, that he leads you to, that really applies to your life as an individual individual. Sometimes it'll be an overarching scripture that you're going to hold on to for the rest of your life. And sometimes it's going to be a scripture that really applies to a certain season of life you are in. I have had both. So how do you find it? The first step is to pray and ask God to lead you to that scripture. Just say a simple prayer. Just say, Lord, show me my life scripture. Show me the scripture that you want me to focus on and meditate on and study and apply to my life in this season of life. Then the next step for you to find your life scripture is is for you to begin reading the Word of God, reading your Bible. This summer, the Read with Anna Bible reading plan, I'm so excited for it to kick off. I'll have an info video with the reading schedule and all that good stuff coming soon, but it's gonna kick off on June 4th, and we are reading through the entire New Testament this summer in June, July, and August. So that is the perfect way for you to begin finding your life scripture is reading through the New Testament. And as you're reading, the Lord is gonna have the opportunity to answer that prayer you prayed. He is gonna have an opportunity to really emphasize a passage. Maybe we're reading through the book of Galatians and there's a chapter in Galatians that you've read in the past or maybe you've never read it before, but for some reason it just pops off the page to you. It's like, you are like, whoa, I, I wanna study that scripture more. I think this scripture really applies to what I'm going through right now. And the Lord will confirm to you like, hey, this is the scripture I want you to apply to your life right now. I wrote down some examples of some of the life scriptures the Lord has shown me over the years. Some of them include Luke 145, which says, blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. It's short and sweet. But when I was in high school, through the first couple of years of college, that scripture, the Lord was really like using that scripture in my life to remind me, Anna, have faith. Believe that the things that I have promised you are going to take place, like trust in me. And I really focused on the scripture. I had a huge printout of it in my locker in high school. And then I wrote it out. I posted it on my bedroom wall next to my bed in the summer before college. And then when I was in the dorms, my freshman year, I had it posted um, on the wall next to my bed again. And I would just look at that scripture and remind myself of that scripture. It was actually my quote. Um, in my senior yearbook, each senior got to pick a quote and I put Luke 145 because that was my scripture that the Lord was having me really focus on in that time of my life. Another life scripture that I've had in the past is Isaiah 43. And I'll just read a couple verses of that to you. Here we go. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's like highlighted in like purple with tons of notes because this was a really hard season of life. Um, that I was going through and the Lord showed me this scripture. Um, it was actually in 2012 on September 18th at 7.55 a.m. So anyway, it says, but now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name and you are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. And when you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. And it goes on and it says just so much. It says in verse 12, first I predicted your rescue and then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. No foreign God has ever done this. So the whole chapter and then the first couple verses of Isaiah 44 were my life scripture back in like 2012 and 2013. I was really, the Lord used that scripture in my life so much. The next scripture in my life that the Lord showed me that was a life scripture for me was also in Isaiah and it's Isaiah 61. And it talks about, you know, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. And then it goes on and it says, um, to all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. It goes on in verse 10, I am overwhelmed with joy in the Lord my God, for he has dressed me with the clothing of salvation and draped me in a robe of righteousness. I am like a bridegroom in his wedding suit or a bride with her jewels. The sovereign Lord will show justice to the nations of the world. Everyone will praise him. This is the scripture that was read at my wedding because I got married in 2014 and it was right after that hard season in 2012 and 2013 that the Lord gave me this. And it was like, God was promising me like, Anna, you're gonna have a joyous blessing. You are gonna experience the good side of life. You're gonna have some rest. You're gonna have a, you know, 
a crown of beauty instead of ashes. And so this scripture was really precious to me in 2014 and in 2015. It's still precious to me, but especially in 2014, this was precious to me. And then this is the, the scripture that my brother Nick, Nicholas, he read at our wedding. And so that's another one of my life scriptures. Another one that I had was Colossians 2, 1 through 10. You guys have heard about it a lot, but that's my mission scripture for my YouTube channel. I remember driving through the middle of the night on a road trip with my husband, Paul, and this scripture, I was reading it on the YouVersion app on my phone, and it was glowing off the screen, and I read the scripture, and I knew God began to speak to me about the scripture. This is the scripture you know, that en encapsulates what's in your heart, what's in your mind for your YouTube channel. This is, it just, I related to it so much. It says, I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and for the church at Laodicea and for many other believers who have never met me personally. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan. And it goes on and on and on for those 10 verses. And that's how I feel about my girls and my women here on YouTube. I have agonized for you. I want you to understand you know, God's mysterious plan. I want you to understand and have complete confidence that you are just like growing in your faith and all that good stuff. So that's another one of the scriptures that I've had in my life. So those are a few that I've had. Once you have your life scripture, what do you do with it? Well, you meditate on it. I posted that video this week about how to, seven ways for you to meditate on scripture. You meditate on it. And the other thing you do is you pray it over your life and you just, that's part of meditating on it, but you begin to pray it over your life. You keep it in front of your face, you review it, and you ask the Lord to do your will in your life, to bring to pass what he wants to bring to pass in your life as a result of this word from him being planted in your heart. So that's all about how to find your life scripture, what a life scripture is, what do you do with your life scripture, and I hope this video was inspirational for you or it motivated you or made something more clear for you, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys with another video soon. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.